I'm here with Sal Solo at the Catholic Marketing Network Conference. And Sal, how are you doing today? Great. I love being in a hotel. It's like a vacation. <laughs> right. <laughs> this is going to be a big project called We Cry Justice. And can you tell us something about the project and how it came about? Well, you know, God moves in very mysterious ways. So excuse me if I have an odd begin beginning to this, but when I was in London most of my life, um, I once had a performance, it's called the Post Office Tower, it's rather like the tower in Toronto, it's a big round tower and the top goes around. Mm -hmm. so, so there was a charity for doing stuff for Africa, putting on the event, and so they got me thinking about my experience around the world, because in my early days when I was in a rock band called Classics Nouveau, we toured in 30 countries. And so I was out there just wanting to be a rock star, but meanwhile I was experiencing the poor of India and Thailand and Mexico and uh, all, all odd things I didn't expect. And they actually got me to realize when I was reminiscing on this that my journey towards Christ, my conversion to Christ, really came about because I first of all encountered the poor. And particularly in India, where I saw all these children begging, and when I was staying in my hotel that night, walking in the streets, there's so many people sleeping on the streets, and I suddenly thought, my goodness, you know, it was like reality broke in to my world. And so it was no longer just me and my ego. I was young, I was in my 20s, but nevertheless, it, it confronted me with reality and changed my outlook. And that really began the search, because it was about a year later when uh, I was on a tour somewhere, and I said, well, if this is all the world has to offer, there must be something more. God, if you're really there, let me know. And that's how I ended up, um, well, giving my life to Christ, obviously, but, but then beginning what we might now call the Christian ministry. And most of my work, I'm my ninth year in America now, and most of my work has really been youth rallies and youth retreats. Um, but in the meantime, I found myself often talking about justice issues and poverty and sharing my experiences. And people are very moved by it. One time, a few years ago, I was doing a youth rally in Biloxi, Mississippi. And afterwards, I received a letter from the youth director, who also was a teacher. And he said one of the boys in his class had gone to his priest and said, I'm going to pledge $170 to the poor. And he said that's because Sal Solo told us 121 million people live on less than 50 cents a day. So this will be 50 cents a day for the next year. So that always stuck with me, this idea of 50 cents, because teenagers, even though in America we're so rich, you know, we're 6% of the world's population, and we have 35% of the world's resources, but teenagers always have this perception they don't have money. But I say to the kids, who could spare 50 cents a day and not even notice that everybody was the hand up the boss? And so this had really been provoking something in me. Um, but I've been for two, three years thinking, well, I could do something really focusing justice and poverty. It's like a year's work, really. And with all the events that I do, I, I couldn't see how I could spur a year. Anyway, you know, you really can't fight God. And so, around about Christmas time, last Christmas, I suddenly got inspiration. Within about two days, I'd written seven new songs. And so, even though it made no sense at all to do it, I started on it. And so, basically, it's Catholic social teaching. So, it's all the main elements of Catholic social teaching. So, it goes through workers' pay, pro-life issues, uh, women's rights, uh, you know, all, all the major thing, points of Catholic social teaching. Just fifty cents a day, cause no, no. 